Okay, good morning everybody. Currently live on Periscope and Twitter, keeping an eye on the signal to see how things are going uh, in this location. If you're just joining us, thanks for stopping on by. We've got tons of weather information to take a look at and also going to be seeing again the possibility of some more showers into the Mid-South as we go into the rest of the day. Sprinkles for the most part, but beyond that, that's going to be about the worst of everything that we see out there for the rest of the day today. If you do want to check out more about the forecast, you can find out more information here in the blue bar. You can also get more information up here at WREG.com slash weather. I'll be glad to have you along for all the information. Please feel free to share our broadcast, letting you know about what's going on across much of the Mid-South area and beyond. And if you're not from this area, hey, great. Check in anyway and let us know more about what's happening uh, in and around the Mid-South where it comes to your forecast and your conditions out there and letting us know more about what's going on there. Bringing in our Facebook viewers at this time and keeping everybody updated as to what's going on on our triple threat, uh, Twitter, Periscope, and Facebook. This is Weather Overtime, our video weather blog. As per usual, keeping you updated bright and early on Sunday morning. Again, very nice to have you with us uh, live this morning and into around the rest of the area. Some pretty ugly situations going on down into Houston this morning. If you have any plans or travel down that direction, may want to turn around or at least make certain you know what you're getting into out there because we're looking at some nearly impossible travel conditions into and around that area. Here in the Mid-South, again, not doing too bad. St. Francis and Cordova, a lot of cloud cover and some sparse traffic out there. A little bit of a breeze with the flag out there, but not showing, again, a lot of major problems. Currently in the Mid-South, again, we've got some light scattered showers, mostly looking at activity in northeastern areas of Mississippi, southwest Tennessee, and all the way back across portions of northern areas of Mississippi. That's about the main thing we've been looking at uh, into the area there. But outside of that, there's really just not that much going on and probably not going to be seeing all that much throughout the course of the rest of the day. So most of what we're looking at right now is dropping to the southeast and moving away from the area. Jennifer Smith on Facebook, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. And thanks to everybody else for checking in as well. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on. Uh, in and around the rest of the Mid-South and beyond. There's Harvey down to the south and east of us, that or south and west of us. That's where we're getting, again, the bulk of the rainfall, the heaviest rainfall for this morning uh, into and around some portions of southeast Texas. Uh, devastating amounts of rainfall, a foot to two feet of rainfall, not out of the question in certain areas, and also going to be seeing, again, the possibility of even more rainfall heading that direction. So flash flood emergencies, tornado warnings, uh, water rescue in progress, ugly situation going on down that direction. So again, please use caution if you're going to be heading that way. What are we expecting for the course of the next couple of days? Again, mainly at this time, what's left of Harvey is going to slowly start to make its way out of Texas. Now, it's going to take a while to get a little bit closer to the Mid-South area, but what we're going to be looking for at this point is Harvey to make its way out closer to the Gulf of Mexico, and as that happens, we'll be seeing the storm possibly regenerate a little bit. Right now, it looks kind of iffy, but we'll be watching that. It's possible that we could see this storm system making its way up and into the Mid-South over the next uh, couple of days. This is what's going to be going on. Uh, John McKinney, on Facebook, why this hurricane uh, is such a slow mover? Very good question. And the answer to that is that there's nothing in the atmosphere really moving this thing along. It is very much on the quiet side out there. Let me see if I can get uh, more information up here and show you a little bit more about what this thing looks like. Uh, this is on the earth.nullschool.net website, a great place to go to for uh, more information about what it looks like out there where it comes to, let me get the winds down here for a minute. And you'll take a look and see in the center portion of your screen here as I bring this up for just a second, that's Harvey right there in the middle of the storm, in the middle of the area. But notice that all the way around this thing, there is little, if anything, in the way of anything pushing this thing forward. It's just sitting there surrounded by a whole bunch of nothing. There's hardly anything in the way of winds in the upper level of the atmosphere to help to move this thing along. So as of right now, this thing is just basically sitting there on its lonesome and not doing much of anything else. There's nothing really to assist this thing with moving on forward. So what we've got is this storm system that doesn't really want to go any place because there's nothing to move it along. Now, in the next few days, it is going to start, again, making its way a little bit closer to us. 
but again, nothing immediate on that as well. Uh, Sukiko T. Robbins, hope I'm saying that correctly. I hate mispronouncing names. Good morning to you. Alan Stone from Selmer, Tennessee, cool and cloudy. Thank you very much for checking in for this morning. Let's see what's going on again in the Mid-South area. We're just not getting that much in the way of major problems. Uh, National Weather Service showing again the probability for widespread hazardous weather low over the course of the next several days. Now, toward we, as we reach the end of the week, that's where we start to see some problems out there when it comes to the possibility of more rainfall from Harvey making its way on through. High temperature today, again, mid to upper 80s, quite possibly pushing 90 degrees, but not looking at a huge amount of problems out there. Low temperatures tonight, not bad, mid to upper 60s. Chances of rainfall, iffy, looking at scattered sprinkles for the most part to this morning and later on this afternoon and this evening, dwindling by tonight. Getting the kids to the school bus tomorrow, make certain they dress cool because we're going to be looking at some uh, fairly warm conditions out there and chances of rain lingering but mainly into the late morning mid-afternoon and early evening hours. That's where we see, again, the best possibility of rainfall uh, coming on through for Monday. Low temperatures Monday night, mid to upper 60s to right around 70 for the metro area, and chances of rainfall linger, but a 10 to 20% percent chance. Uh, again, not seeing a lot but a 25% chance north of a line from Jonesboro to Jackson, and that's going to be it. Jennifer Smith, does the hurricane affect our heat since it is uh, in the south? How does it work with the northerly winds that we have? Well, the winds we have in and around this area, good question, by the way. Again, we're just not seeing too much in the way of lots of winds uh, coming on through from our area. We do see, again, those winds transporting moisture northward, and that's where we're getting some of the clouds and some of the rainfall from this morning. The winds from out of the north, that's helping us to cool off a little bit, but as of right now, the hurricane is more transporting in moisture for those clouds, so it is dropping our temperatures thanks to the cloud cover that's blocking us from the sunshine, so that's helping a little bit, but it's not blocking us out entirely. As of right now, it's again going to be possibly with that minor front coming down from the north that you may have seen on our former page here, looking back to the north of us, you can see that next front descending into the Mid-South, and as it does, that could help to shape Harvey's path out of the area, maybe keeping it a little farther to the south. The farther it gets to us, that's where we see again the potential for some showers and thunderstorms that could be a problem for us uh, as Harvey gets close to us and begins to draw that moisture back to the north again. So we could see some interference from those northerly winds changing the path of Harvey into the next couple of days. We'll, we'll see how that goes, but as of right now, that's the main thing that we're looking at for so far. Let's see, where were we? Uh, Tuesday, high temperatures on Tuesday, mid-80s, more clouds and stray chances of rain showers out there. Edith Billings, man, thank you very much for dropping on by. Jennifer Smith, thank you very much for the question on there. Low temperatures Tuesday night back in the mid to upper 60s to lower 70s, so kind of sensing a bit of a pattern here and chances for rainfall continuing. Let's skip ahead a bit to around Friday. High temperatures again, mid to upper 80s, plenty of humidity, much more chances of rainfall down across the Delta, northern Mississippi, and eastern Arkansas, and that unfortunately could continue right on into the holiday weekend coming up. Labor Day is next Monday, so as the holiday weekend unfolds, if you have plans for outdoors, cookouts, going to the lake with the boat, whatever you've got in mind for that. If it's outdoors, you may have to change that. And keep in mind that these numbers right here will also change as Harvey gets close to us or moves farther away. So we'll keep you updated on what's going on out there over the course of the next few days. Harvey, again, is a tropical storm, albeit a minimal tropical storm, sitting over the the area around the southeastern parts of Texas. Torrential rainfall, catastrophic flooding going on, uh, some scary situations out there, water rescues in progress this morning, and travel very, very limited. So if you're planning on heading into or maybe a connecting flight through Houston, uh, keep in mind that Houston airports right now are either closed or operating on a very limited capacity. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be traveling. We also have an area of investigation right over Florida. As this peels out into the Atlantic, this could also uh, develop into something that could affect the East Coast. And as it gets out over that warm Gulf of Stream waters, we could see a lot of changes with this particular system here, not to mention Harvey affecting our weather going up to the north and to the east. Not much stargazing tonight, so cloudy skies expected, so not much to see out there. More information on my Facebook page at, at uh, facebook.com slash austinonicwreg, and more available on my Twitter page as 
well. Don't forget you can also check out the forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on AM 730 on Monday through Friday morning and also Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 throughout the rest of the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network. i got to hop back out on set to get ready for the final uh, weathercast for our daybreak program. Melissa Moon is guest hosting this morning uh, for the vacationing Nina Harrelson. We'll have more information on the effects of Harvey throughout the rest of the day today and also especially tonight on News Channel 3 at 5 and 10 and with CBS News throughout the rest of the day. So keep it tuned to, again, social media, our weather page, wreg.com slash weather, and tons more weather information coming your way on News Channel 3 as we head throughout the rest of the day. Thanks for joining us on Twitter, Periscope, and Facebook, live and direct from downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick on the News Channel 3 Weather Center. Stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the day with News Channel 3 on air and online.